enough for a kill with the stun, but can make him sad. They're actually going to TP someone else in. Uh, he is going to pop that mango, goes in, gets the stun. Can Armin get in range? It could be the first blood. And he nails him, and that'll be the kill. Navi, get on the board. It did cost them a rotation, but well worth it. Well, basically mirror movements here as Lil was heading back towards the mid lane. Looked like he wanted to potentially protect his embers, try to set up a gank at Viver. Bottom lane was Lil, makes that rotation set, is going to find him with the crush, the follow up rocket barrage there, securing the kill. VP, do get back on the board, they force Pyke out to TP away, still level 4 here, so a little while before he's the Eclipse and could potentially take a team fight. Our man though. Looks like no one's going to head back to base after getting harassed a bit more, so he's a little sticks now, there is possibility to rotate down bottom because that's where the action is happening. Pycat getting caught out a bit here, but he's got the support. Biver now the one taking the punishment from the helicopter. Ramses though, not able to find the kill. And now Armand even chasing him deeper. Doesn't have to burrow for a few seconds. The sniper of Dendi arrives. The remnant comes through, bouncing back to mid and then over again. We'll find the kill. The assassinate insufficient. Dendi now has to back away. So no one equals equalizes the it was like kind of a scared move to rotate the docks here off of the top lane, but it's kind of a combined thing where you're, you're afraid of Nyx gank. If you stay top, you think you're going to get Nyx gank, and you're also afraid Nyx is getting the bottom. That's and that's exactly, exactly what's happening. General strikes, and now the self-grave. Biver going for the TP out. Will he make it? The crush not quite there. It looks like he will escape successfully. Now Glimpsey back general. The other way, they will bring him down with the power of the Iron Shell. And now a two-hero chain grab by no one looking for more, but he does get stunned under tower. Lil Taking a good advantage of a timing before Luna hits level 6. Luna gonna get 6 now from a creep at bottom as no one comes back in. Oh, He's dodging away from the burrow as he remnants on through Biber with a perfectly timed self grape though at the buzzer with 4 HP and that's a second or two after I looked at the bar. So we'll end up finding the kill there. Oh, sad Slardar. No one also TPing home, and they're going to converge on top general on the move. It's on to Ramses. Navi's starting to snowball this landing stage. As it ends, they break the lanes down. They find another kill. VP coming in with the Slardar, but I don't know if he's really going to be able to dive this. He'll try. That was the one big thing we talked about. No mech just yet, though. So Navi, with a good initiation, could bring down two, Where's three heroes. Oh, the and trees. they're looking for the sideswipe. Armin coming in from the rear, just trying to patiently Find that multiple hero burrow into an epi. He comes from the high ground. He only gets the burrow on Pasha. Now tries to feign away, but so low as Ramsey's chipped off from distance. A safe kill. VP oh, losing was... two there, and they just gonna not doing well at the event. Uh, but they had a, a miraculous run with like a crazy base defense. The Dendi Mag came out uh, after barely making it into the playoffs. They're having quite a showing here. And as I say that, I jinx the hell out of our man. He immediately gets glimpsed in and picked off by a, a well placed lane ward. So. <laughs> Uh, don't call it a win just yet, but <laughs> Maelstrom for Dendi, and he's going to sweep in. General, under cover of Vendetta, cruising deep into the woods. He's going to find the initiation again on two, the three hero carapace. Assassinate coming in, and the pain raids down. The burrow's there as well from our man, and they clean him up. Four VP heroes hit the deck. And again, gods, General. See, like, them meaning to proc your carapace from, like, the rocket barrage or the flak of the gyrocopter, the ember, with his flame guard, the darks here, iron shell. All of these heroes have great carapace setups. They found the old man on a walk, and they will slaughter him. VP with the smoke gank. We'll find the pick off on the sniper. Deadly's by getting a bit of map control before those BKPs come up. Yeah, our man prepping for that next round of aggression has smoked in, drops oh, a deep will. observer ward, and now revving up the epicenter. Burrows on forward. He'll have a little help here from Ho Ho Ha Ha. Gets the kill, the insta TP out. Uh, or no, sorry, that's a TP in from Pasha. And now gonna look to chase him. Disruptor, what, what are they doing? Not banning a Nyx Assassin last, but you just, you kind of get in this mindset that you know what role the Sand King's gonna be in. And Navi have played Iron Man on Sand King a few times before in the past, just not so uh, much in this oh. qualifiers. <laughs> No one, uh, I think, trying to disjoint a Pitar man, like they want to make a move on him. Solo could try it in the shade here, potentially go for that glimpse TP cancel, and the catch is there. No one will grab him out. Now the static storm committed as he gets glimpsed right back where he, from whence came, will end up falling. Good pick there on Armin here on a timer, they haven't used the BKBs. I think that's the big thing here. While they haven't farmed as fast as they otherwise would have, they're still holding on to 10 second BKBs. So, Pycat may have a butterfly by the time, um, before this age oh, is gone. Oh, General, that BKBs. patience though, as he nails one. No one caught out top lane. Oh, the mana burn to start. He gets a little cheeky with him, lets him hit him with the chains. Then he carapaces 
and follows up with heroes. There's no defending at that point, but this also may just be VP saying, let's give up for late Nebrax. Like, they're not assembled. They're not in position to defend this one. The tower's already down. Now the bouncing blades are going to kick in. Oh, they try to chip a pie cat. He will back off his own illusion, perhaps VP's greatest tool to deal with him. He gets glimpsed back in, creates another illusion, then the crush. Good job working on him. Then the fall vacuum with the call down. But Dendi BKBs looks to run away. Ramsey's moving on to him pretty quickly, bringing him down. Dendi low, almost dead, trying for the TP out. Biver going for the save. Not going to happen. He may fall as well. And then Pycat back into the fray. Drops the Eclipse. Does he have the damage? The Burrow, the Epi, a bit discombobulated from Navi. They haven't brought down anyone yet. Lil will fall. No one, though, still manning up. We'll find the kill. It's two deaths for a Pycat. He'll end up falling. Now our man burrowing out, trying to retreat. They'll look for the Impale. They get one. Can they kill General? They will. Now no one without Mana might not be able to walk away. Incoming Ramses, though. The chase continuing. BP. The Slight of Fist is there. They find five heroes in the end. And on top of that, they defend the base. Um, oh, that was just such a great bit of play there. They they forced Na'Vi to group up by going on the Luna there. That came out. Na'Vi wanted to be trying to grab for free. Do you like this Manta pick up that Pycat's working on? I mean, you're up against an Ember with a Maelstrom. I mean, obviously Ember already does a lot of AoE damage. That's Gyro with what the beef fly now completed. We had all day percent from Iron Man. Not sure what that was about, but uh, uh, it's... I think it's okay just for like, you, you, Manta has a lot of other extra, like you can dodge spells with it, temporary invulnerability. Uh oh. Iron Man, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. BP, we'll slice him up and now looking for more, they find that glimpse, follow up solo in deep. Will he get punished? The patience from generally pump fakes on the stun, he gets two instead of one. But does it matter? He gets forced back to the high ground. Ramses commits the BKB. It's gonna be. Not it was really. Yet. Oh, they want to get kills, yeah. Oh, they got the app off an arm, and he burrows up to the high ground. He will manage to catch two with that, but he's chained at the same time as the rarely seen homie missile. He'll come in. We'll find that kill. Yeah. There's a... Uh, I'm watching Solo like... Okay, do you... There's offering maybe time. That's true. So. <laughs> well, Navi finally going to kill off this other shrine. I'm actually surprised they didn't do it earlier. As I say that, though, BP want to punish. They're going to make the move on General. They'll quickly bring him down. That's a gem hitting the deck. Oh, you thought you could just take a shrine? Fat chance of that, say VP. Just not having the vision, not having that shrine down made a big difference in... Oh, oh, oh Lil. Lil with the big grab here. The follow-up coming through from no one. self grave try for the TP away. Viper, not gonna happen. Will be caught, I think, by the glimpse there. Cancel the TP. On to falling. RMN on the run. Pycat makes it back to high ground. But fight that the docks here with the slatter crash or the static storm brings to the table and... They're now ready to start poking and prodding at this high ground. Gyrocopter's in, and what an initiation. Oh, they will manage. Pycat will manage to limp away, but he gets glimpsed back into the Thunderdome and into trouble. VP make it four heroes picked off over the past minute or so as they look for Armen. They'll kill him again. Ramsey's with the frag. And now VP surging forward, picking up steam. They're going to mow. Got that all for them, and they've gone for the Ang's Luna. This is a bit of kind of like a Hail Mary play where you're just hoping that, I mean, that this catches uh -oh. the device. Oh, right, man, this guy bought back earlier. He's not going to be able to rejoin the fight. He gets caught by the crush, finished off, and... Oh, oh he's got respawn timer. He's, he's got the respawn, respawn timer down. All right, it's tactical. <laughs> yeah, tactical. They're trying to probably get on the back line to get heroes like Disruptor, Doxia, Slada with the Eclipse. It's all right, they've got the Lurker Nyx now. Surely this will be the answer to their problems as Pycat charging in, looks to engage. He does drop that massive Eclipse. He gets grave. Pretty early in the fight, he's brought one down, almost two. The Ember looking to come back in, but now he's isolated. Ramsey's on the chase. Can Pycat make it away? He is pretty fast. Also low. Ramsey's though with the Aegis wants the chase, and no one there. Cleaning up that Luna. Looking for a bit more as he'll isolate Dendi. The crush comes in. The carapace. The stun from the Nyx. Not quite enough. Dendi pushing himself away. Back towards safety, but no one decapitates him. Takes him down. The Nyx limps back to the well in general. Well, this man is strong. He's been doing some heavy lifting, but unfortunately, his troops not rallying to the cry, and it looks like VP gonna take game one. Now the epicenter. Too little. <laughs> but Navi played a, an incredible early game, and I think that's part of the game. With that Aegis, Butterfly, Luna, they just met a VP team whose teamfight coordination and execution is just a step above theirs, and they perhaps rush things a bit, think maybe some overconfidence as well. Either way, I think the big takeaway for Navi is like, we're competitive, we can beat VP if we just polish things up a bit, but for VP it's 
I mean, they got shaken a bit by Na'Vi, but I think the end result is what BP are looking for. Like, all right, they got the game one win. They're still playing that good, consistent Dota, and they're still getting the wins. All right, guys, with that game one in the books, BP...